love my iPad Mini 6, and a lot of reviewers out there complain about something called jelly scrolling, that they talk about being this problem with the refresh rate of the iPad Mini. But did you know that jelly scrolling isn't new? But while we're on the subject of new, if you're new around here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and if you're not, welcome back. In today's video, let's jump straight into it. A lot of people have complained about the fact that on the iPad Mini 6th generation, there is a noticeable jelly scrolling effect on the 60 hertz display. This is something that is particularly noticeable on the iPad mini, but is not exclusive to the iPad mini. As a matter of fact, older Apple products actually are pegged by the exact same issue. The iPad 2 also has jelly scrolling. When this iPad came out back in 2011, it was praised by reviewers for being a great iPad. It was such a good iPad, in fact, that it was sold for years to come. Now, I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up on camera, but as you start to go up and down a web page here, you will see the jelly scrolling effect where one side of the display refreshes faster than the other. Again, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera, but you can see that one side of the screen ever so slightly refreshes faster than the other if you look really carefully. Interestingly though, on the iPad Air here, you'll see that that same effect is not present. So clearly they've come up with a better way to develop touch screens that has not made its way to the iPad mini. Apple knows what they're doing with software development though, and if you look at the settings app, they are split into two columns. As a matter of fact, a lot of the default apps on the iPad are split into those same two columns. So as you can see, the iPad mini has a problem that has plagued the iPad since day number one. But what's weird is that the issue is not as bad on Apple's more expensive iPads. Of course, the iPad Pro has 120 hertz display, so that obviously fixes that problem, but jelly scrolling is kind of an unexcusable problem in 2023. It's crazy that in over a decade, they have seemed to solve the problem on some devices, but on others, you still get that jelly scrolling look. Hopefully that jelly scrolling appeared on camera and you know what I mean with that. It's just crazy to me to think about the fact that a company such as Apple is implementing poor screen quality on a $500 device. Hopefully we see the iPad mini 7 get 120 hertz display, but if it doesn't, I hope it at least has a better looking display like the iPad Air's 60 hertz display that does not have that jelly scrolling, at least not as predominantly, as it is on the iPad mini or on older iPads. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. Do you have an iPad mini 6, and does jelly scrolling bother you? Why or why not?